Hello everybody, my name is Ungar, and welcome to Yardlands. Now, uh, usually I don't do a video on Wednesday, but I am in April vacation, which has been lovely. And the creator of this game actually commented and asked me if I would mind playing this. And since I have the extra time, I mean, why not? Always good to try some more insect games. Uh, very creative what people do with them. And I've played a little bit of the game. You can see I have 81 bucks, which I'm going to use to buy the most expensive creature we can. And then with that creature, gain another 50 bucks to buy this thing that is on a discount right now. That is the goal of the video, to buy this. So how this game sort of works, as you can see, I've played it a little bit. It's, um, it's an all right game. There's a few criticisms. Number one, it's insanely dark. Uh, like as you can see here, oh, it's daytime, but there is a nighttime where it gets really, really dark. Uh, all these buttons work. They're very, very good. It gives you a little info on how to play them. We're gonna go and buy uh, whatever this thing is, the Mast Hunter, and oh goodness, are we, oh, oh, we found a little, oh, get him, get him, can we camouflage, boom, I'm hidden, hey, whoa, 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 <laughs> we're gonna die, help, 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 okay, we have to fight, fight to the death, get him, okay, this guy sucks, is it just me or just, oh, we got him, and then we can eat him. So yeah, this game is sort of like a uh, a free-for-all sort of combat type of thing. I'm not really sure how you heal. Uh, if we go to menu and diet, we need to kill things. Alright, exit. So yeah, this game is pretty interesting. Obviously, it's in a big beta. One of my main concerns is that the map is too big. Way too big. You spend way too long wandering around. It does not need to be this big. Another thing is the darkness, which we will probably see. I tried playing the fire ant, but it puts you in a hole, and there's no light, uh, like how there is in ant life, so I literally couldn't find the way out because it was so dark. And, yeah, this creature seems to come uh, respawn here. This kind of looks like a tick or some kind of beetle, but whatever it is, we can kill it, and we really don't do that much damage. Like, we're doing a bunch here. The mosquito is a lot better. You can fly as that thing. And, um, which is really fast, and it also did a lot more damage, so I'm a little bit sad here. But the more you eat, you actually gain more HP, which can be helpful for, um, combat. And I think we just ate part of, yeah, we're eating the legs. That's actually really cool. You also get bigger. Um, but yeah, this game is actually pretty well made, even though it's in a beta. And now we are a lot bigger, and maybe we can find some of the other players. I'm not sure where they are. But we have 26 coins, so I think I'm just going to continue farming, and it is getting nighttime. So when it is fully dark, and if we find something interesting, I will come back to you then. But I believe we're just going to try and grind out some coins by killing these uh, little bugs here. And then we'll unlock the new area that's currently being developed. So I'll see you when night falls. Okay guys, two things. Number one, I didn't even realize this, but apparently this thing has a second stage, which we're at, and now we can fly and we're totally black. And um, that's really not helpful because as you can see here, what I've been describing, this game is so incredibly dark. I can barely see anything, like with the white of the door is really the only way we can see our bug. We need five more coins. We've been gaining a ton more HP uh, the more we play and the more we kill things and i've also been noticing that i think we get more damage last time i fought something i had 15 per hit and i think we're doing a little more because it's no longer on even fives and zeros so we yeah now oh we are very very close and actually at this point we're maxed out we can no longer get any bigger i think we're gonna go try and find some other players although it's just so dark like look at this Let's go over to this light here and see if we can find anything else. Oh, there needs to be more of these around. I can't see. <laughs> that is really my only criticism, is that I cannot see and the map is huge. If you're not playing as something that can fly, then uh, you're going to be really slow. Oh, this thing has less HP than the other one. Interesting. Let's kill this and see how many coins we get. Hopefully one coin away. Oh, okay, there's something here. Get it. 
I think... Is that another player? I think it is. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. I can't even see where I'm going. But we do so much damage. Look at that. Now we have 58. Oh, we got a lot from... Uh, from doing that but now if we go back to the menu we'll go to the uh final part of today's video go back to the main menu and this game is it's pretty interesting obviously it's in very early development we are going to buy the flooded forest and that seems to actually work so let's go here and i'm not sure if there's different creatures i think there should be so we tried out the most expensive and Apparently, probably the best one from the uh, starter area, which can fly. It does pretty good damage. It's got a bunch of HP. It's a pretty good creature. We got a badge for that. And, ooh, this place looks pretty interesting. Yes. All right. So we have a mosquito, a honeybee, a wolf spider. I kind of want to be a honeybee because I can fly. Whoa, we are huge. Oh, 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 okay. Fly, fly, please. Where's our nest? This is our nest, I assume. Can we get back in here? So yeah, we spawn right there. And let's go take a look around. All right, so there's little dew pieces that we can drink, which is pretty neat. We are so ridiculously fast. And we have a bunch of HP. All right, I wanna find another creature. We eat these, right? If we stop flying here. Q take? Do we have to bring it back to our nest? That's actually pretty dope. How much can we see it on our body? No, not really. I don't really see it anywhere. How much can we take? Five. Um, not sure if this works. Let's go back to our nest and see if we can turn it into something to eat, maybe? Can we do anything with that? No. All right, so it looks like we're slowly gonna starve to death because I can't figure out how to eat. Maybe that plant was broken. How about this one? Do you work? No, you don't work. Uh-oh. Okay, let's try and find something and see what other critters are wandering around here. I'm not sure if there is any NPCs in this map because I'm not really seeing any. Again, it's just huge. I feel like it should be a little smaller and should also have some more detail in it but in a smaller area because there's no reason for it to be this big um i'm really oh i saw a health bar oh what are you what are you hold up are you like a i can't even see what that is that looks like a giant mite or something but we do a lot of damage to it and it gives us some pretty good coins all right let me be larva and then adult. Okay. Oh, that's... We have to pay to buy the wolf spider. All right, so we'll try a mosquito. Yeah, this is similar to the other mosquito that I had played as before, uh, where you have to refill your air, and you have to eat stuff underwater, and then you can go above the water. So I'll see you when uh, we have hatched, because the water phase is kind of lame. Okay, so, uh, nothing really happened. I just kept eating and eating, and I did not end up growing. Uh, the mosquito in the starting area does work, and you can become the adult, but I got, like, 50 HP. Uh, this one was 25 until you hatch, I think, and I just wouldn't hatch. I'm pretty sure these are in here, and we do not have enough money for that. If you guys want to see me come back to this game, we can definitely do that, but there is a lovely uh, feedback thing here. So, let's see. What criticism do we have for the game? Um, I think it's way too dark. As we have said, it's really hard to see everything. Too dark. And the maps are much larger than they need to be. Otherwise, good game. Uh, I do like this game it's pretty interesting um it has some good plans there's also another game that i'll be checking out in a little bit i think it's called like a uh, little war zone or something i played that once before just once the person suggested it just like this one and we'll probably check that out it looks like a just like a combat game sort of like ant war but 
not really. It's more open, and there's just a bunch of different creatures. So we'll check that one out maybe this weekend, maybe a little bit after that. But, yeah. Uh, that will be Yardlands, our first initial look at it. Pretty interesting game. Definitely could use some stuff, but it is still being developed. Here are the developers, very lovely people. Um, yeah, the developer commented on uh, the channel. He probably will watch this. So, uh, I love your game. It has some interesting stuff, but big map, a little too dark. Uh, more NPCs could also be nice. Because um, the map is a little empty. That's probably because it is so large as well. Be nice. And yeah, that is our lovely little review of Yardlands. So if you did enjoy, please remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, join the Discord with the link in the description. Have an amazing and fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!